Good day everybody and welcome uh, to today's episode. So a few weeks ago, I met up with uh, Asia Morris for a few hours. Uh, she's a local cyclist in the Long Beach area. She rides for Engine 11. So we kind of spoke about what she's doing with her cycling career at the moment, where she plans on doing in the future, or where she's going with it. Also learned a little bit about what she does off the bike, and that's uh, art. She's a, you know an artist that does paintings and drawings and whatnot. So I thought it'd be uh, interesting to you know share with you guys who we have around the area and she's uh, one of them so hope you guys enjoy let's go ahead and get into it Uh, probably not. <laughs> no, I don't think I am. <laughs> um, so I might just like paint over it with like whatever this is, like the eggshell. Yeah. Or I might just like go full ham and just. I think you should. I mean, it's paint. They can always paint over it, or you can before you leave anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like I've already painted on it. So yeah. I might as well. Yeah. I gotta call Cynthia again and see if she's still down. <laughs> that's funny. One of my friends was like, "Oh, this reminds you of salad." I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, but yeah, I'm not like very excited about this. Yeah. This one I like a little bit more. This one's also not finished. Yeah. Um, but it's just, I don't know, I just like that one a little bit better. <laughs> it's just better. Yeah. Listen. So you've been doing this all your life? Um, yeah, not like seriously though. Like my dad is an artist and so I definitely grew up uh, drawing and painting like just for fun. Yeah. Um, like he had this like little easel that he would set up for me in like the backyard and I would just go out and like paint. Um, and so it's always been like a way to pass the time. Um, it's never really been a way to like make money or anything. I've never tried to take anything very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I went to school for art. Um, oh, you did? Where'd, yeah. you, where'd you go? Um, Scripps College in Claremont. Oh, okay. Uh, that was a really cool experience. That's actually where I started cycling. Ah, like the distra that's the distraction right there? Yeah. <laughs> or the motivation? Um, Sometimes? Yeah, it was like, I, I, I've always been pretty athletic and I always played sports since I was nine all throughout high school and then in college I decided not to like join a team. Um, and so I was kind of like looking for an athletic activity. Uh -huh. um, and my roommate had a track bike and I don't, I'd always only ever had a beach cruiser. And so I was like, oh, that looks way more fast and fun. Yeah. Than a clunky cruiser. And then, um, yeah, it just kind of went from there. I bought, a, I bought a track bike. It was a Mercier Kilo time trial that, from like bikesdirect.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you like it right off the bat? No, like I riding? crashed so Did many you really? times. Did you really? I ran into so many things and people and <laughs> like <laughs> Oh man, those are always the best stories. Like people like the beginning of the writing, learning how to ride track bikes. It was definitely a learning experience. Yeah. Um, but once I got the hang of it, I was yeah. out, I was gone. 
There's like a really fun group ride called Juggernauts that met every Tuesday night near the college. Mm -hmm. So I'd go on that all throughout the four years I was there. Um, and then when I moved back to Long Beach after college, that's when I found G Funk and a bunch of those guys raced. So I was like, oh, fuck yeah, okay. I can try this. Got into that. I think my first major race was the Wolfpack Festival uh, Marathon Crash Race. Oh, okay. And that one I. The what, one, what year was that? Which one was that? I don't know. It was like. It must have been like 2013. Okay. Because it was after. I think it was after I had graduated. Yeah. Um, it was 2013, I think. And I um, remember uh, just finishing and not having any idea where I was because it's just a mass finish. Like, you don't know oh. where you are. Um, but I ended up getting third. <laughs> and I was like, not knowing. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. And that's when I was like, okay, yeah, I should probably keep racing. This yeah. is really fun. So how long has it been now? How long have you been riding? I guess I guess racing now. Racing, um, five, four or five years. Five, four or five years now. Four and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, riding, just like riding. For fun, probably eight or nine years. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. That's cool. That's good. So you grew up here in Long Beach, right? Yeah. Yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. Um, my parents live, they still live in Belmont Shore. Nice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think about living in other cities, but there's always just something about this place that keeps me, um, yeah, it just keeps Grounded, me. Grounded, huh? And I think it's been really good. Uh, to be able to travel a lot, um, thanks to Engine 11, mm. that, that's really kept me, like, I always love coming back home to Long Beach, like, go to Barcelona, go to New York, go to all these, like, awesome places, but then I, I just, like, I love coming back here. So how long have you been riding with Engine 11? I think it's been three years. Three years? Yeah. How did that, how did that start? Um, how did that start? Well, that was... When I had just started racing for fun, um, and then I think I joined in like 2014, um, and I, that's when I was hanging out with Bud, um, and he helped me like figure out the kind of bike that I needed. I remember Langdon gave me his hand-me-down, <laughs> his red, it was a red sprinter, I think. Um, I don't remember the name of the model. It's still in my bike closet. <laughs> it has sentimental value. Yeah. Um, that was my first, like, bike from the team. And I remember it had, like, a little dent, I think, in the top two or something. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then that's, like, around the time I bought, like, my first carbon road bike. And it was oh. the first time I'd ever spent more than a grand on, like, anything. Yeah. And it was so scary. Oh. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it just kind of took off from there. I remember um, racing Barcelona was crazy because I just, I was talking with Bud and he was like, do you want to go? They'll send you. And I was like, what? Are you kidding? Like, that's insane. And I was like, I had to think about it for like a week or something because I was just like, They're, that's that's crazy. They're going to send me to Barcelona. I'm going to yeah. race in Barcelona. Like, How was that? It was great. <laughs> it was great. It was so much fun. <laughs> How was the um, city? It was a beautiful city. Um, I've been to that race twice now. And, yeah, um, Red Hook, right? Mm hmm Okay. And uh, it's just like the most fun race because it's a super international city. So you get a lot of tourists, but also like other European tourists. So like you meet people from, you know, France, Germany, like all over the place. Oh, you have to meet a lot of people, a lot of races all over the world too. Yeah. Race with them. That race was awesome. I remember I got 10th. Oh, that not was bad. the last time I think I got a top <laughs> 10 in the red. <laughs> Are you going this year? Um, yeah, so, I, I don't really know which one, but I'm definitely, I want to aim for New York and then I might just go to Barcelona again. Mm. And then they haven't released the races yet, so. What are, what are you planning on doing now what, with racing or what, what's the next step? Um, I think for me racing, or, well, riding fast and competitively has always been, like, an outlet for me. Um, just an outlet dealing with, like, just the normal stress of, like, everyday life. Yeah. Um, and I don't 
really want that to change. Um, I still, that's still why I race. It's fun, but it's also like a way to like blow off some steam. Good therapy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bike therapy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and winning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was nice. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to try and take it just seriously enough so that I can at least, you know, stay in the top half of the pack at a major race. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm out to really like to win it. Um, I'm more of like, and it's win it. <laughs> I mean, I am, like I am, like during the race, you yeah. definitely are, you yeah, know, but like yeah. as far as like the prep and the training, like, yeah. um, involved to get a podium at like a red hook. Like I know that I don't have that kind of time, mm -hmm. um, because I want, I still want to keep making art and I still, I really enjoy my job right now. And so I still want to keep doing that. And like, that's good though. I want to have like all those things going on at the same time. And I know that because of that, like I won't be able to put like 100 into just cycling. Yeah. Um, cause that honestly gets a little monotonous for me personally. Um, some of my medals. Um, this is the most recent one. That was a fun one. This is when I won the SoCal Fix Series, like the first time they had it. This is uh, King of Track in Korea. It was about a year ago. I won the road um, road race and the track race. So it was fun. So I'm definitely. I mean, when I'm riding, I'm riding seriously. But then I, you know, I still want time to paint and draw and, and work on cycling shoes. <laughs> Oh yeah, the shoes. Yeah. So uh, wait, when did you start doing the shoes? Um, my first pair, my friend Emil was like, can you just paint on my Jiro Empires? They were just the black, shiny, like, oh, leather okay. ones. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, which is like the perfect canvas, because there's no, like, you know, it's a plain shoe. Like, it's a blank canvas, basically. Um, so I just went to town uh, with some Sharpie oil-based paint pens, and those turned out awesome. Um, and from there, I just people saw those and they just. Do you sell them? Do you do, you do that? Um, I, I charge a little bit. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um, usually people that ask for me to do them, they're friends, so I don't really charge that much. I just I'm like, yeah. it's an opportunity for me to like practice. Um, and then I just yeah, I don't know. I don't like charging my friends <laughs> too much money. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> I need my space. <laughs> All right, that's it for today's episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about Asia. If you want to keep up with her, there'll be a link uh, below in the description um, on how to do so. All right, we'll see you guys next week. We Cycle Survive.